Welcome back to CJ's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share a recipe for cherry limeade. This is a drink that I have just recently discovered and found that I really like. It's nice and refreshing for summer and our summer weather finally, finally arrived here in the greater Seattle area in Washington State. So I am definitely craving refreshing beverages. So this will be the first in a series that I'm going to call Cheers. It will be all kinds of drinks, just my favorite beverages, anything from cocktails to hot cocoa to coffee to just soft drinks, whatever, wherever the mood takes me. So today again, cherry limeade. So to start out, I'm going to use this um, gravy shaker. It's a great um, substitute for a cocktail shaker. This is not a cocktail, but it's a good way to um, blend your beverages before you pour them over ice so that you can um, get everything mixed together or if you don't want um, ice melting them in them you can add ice directly to your cup and have um, have it not get watered down so I found that this worked really well so to start with I have a quarter cup here of lime juice that I freshly squeezed I just could not help myself and Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of cherry simple syrup, which I also made. So let me take a minute and show you how I did that. And we're going to add half a cup of sugar, a cup of water, and a cup of cherries. And these are frozen cherries because cherries are no longer in season here. the sugar and then let it come to a boil. The cherry mixture started to boil. I'm going in with my potato masher to mash up the cherries a little bit. We want them nice and macerated so they will release their juices and then once this is cooled we'll strain it. They don't need to be the cherries don't need to be completely crushed they just need to be macerated enough to really release their juices the cherries don't need to be fully crushed they just need to be macerated enough to help release the juices and get all that wonderful cherry flavor so Feel free to adjust your syrup any way that you need to. I added a lot more cherries to the recipe that I found online and adapted. I doubled the amount of cherries. So you may want to back off the sugar if your cherries are really sweet. You may need to add more if you like your drinks very sweet. Or if you don't like as much cherry flavor, you can certainly back it off all the way down to half a cup. So we already have our lime juice. Now we're going to add that quarter cup plus two tablespoons of the simple syrup, cherry simple syrup, yum, to the cup. And finally, I'm going to add a cup of water. Tap water's just fine, or if you have one of those filters and you wanna filter your water, you, go right ahead. So I'm going to shake it up just to make sure it's mixed really well. Um, oh, it's leaking a little bit. That's okay. So I already have some ice here and a glass all ready to go. So I'm just going to put some ice in my glass. I don't want it to get watered down so you can put as much or as little as you want and there we are cherry limeade mm. perfectly refreshing for a hot summer day 
If you give this recipe a try, please do let me know how it goes in the comments. And if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe so that you can make sure to catch each and every one. Until next time when I see you here in my kitchen, ciao.